What is up guys, Intricate Explorer here today and uh, we're at one of my favorite places in all of Oregon, the infamous Cannon Beach. But we're not quite at Haystack Rock yet, which is the famous rock that juts out right in the middle of this beach. We're actually at an Overlook State Park called E. Cola State Park, which is where we're going to start this adventure because it gives you a broad overview of the entire area so you can see the beach that Cannon Beach really is. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some drone footage. Let's kick it off. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start heading to the actual beach. It's about two hours until sunset. So we got time to like explore it a little bit, but I think it's still like a 30 minute drive from here. So uh, we're gonna head down. It's only 10 minutes away. What? <laughs> oh my god. You over exaggerate so much. <laughs> no, it's better late than never. I mean, early than late. <laughs> <laughs> So we got out of here just in the brink of time. It took us a little bit longer than we thought actually to get here. Just we had to park kind of far away because our van's so fucking big. So we had to find a spot and uh, now we're coming kind of rushing to get a shot. So as you can see, the sun is doing really well. Got some nice clouds behind it over here. So it's actually a pretty good sunset right now. I just got to keep looking for something that will uh, tickle my fancy. Um, whoa. Look at that jellyfish, holy shit. So with the sun rapidly setting here, I think this is the composition I'm gonna be working with. So we got this massive jellyfish. It's probably the size of two of my hands if I were to lay it on top of it. Probably the biggest I've ever seen laying on a beach. So I'm gonna use this as my foreground. Then I'm gonna go ahead and focus stack. Like right here, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. So that way I could really make sure this whole thing is in focus because when you have objects that are this close, you really wanna, the, the focus becomes a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and line those up. Nice colors, I'm gonna make sure the sky is exposed in the back room, bathroom, and uh, yeah, check this shot out. One concept I've been dabbling in lately is some kind of fusion of horror and landscape photography. Now I know that's not something like I've ever really seen and it's sometimes hard for me to conceptualize how to make that a reality, mainly because I grew up loving horror flicks and uh, now I'm obviously super into photography. So trying to figure out how to combine those has been a challenge. Uh, it, it's kind of been something that's been sparking in my mind for a while now. Uh, if you look at my whole rainforest shoot the other day, I got the photo of the tree that just looks like this claw kind of hanging down. That's kind of creepy. And then along with these shots that I got today, I think this kind of adds to that horror vibe. So I'm not really sure where this kind of concept of horror landscape photography is going to go, but it's something I've been playing with here and there. All right, y'all, so it's getting a little bit dark now. We're gonna head back to our car, and uh, we're actually gonna come back here in the morning time because uh, Haley didn't get any good shots, and I kinda wanna get you know a different variety of shots 
um, see what else I can get. Maybe in the morning, because I'm assuming the sun's gonna come up. Obviously, it's gonna come up on the east, and then illuminate the rock from the other side. So I think it might provide a, like a different change of pace and maybe a different lighting situation. Either way, I'm kind of curious about what's gonna happen. So we're gonna head back to the car and make some uh, din din, and uh, come back in the morning. All right, it's 6 a.m. 6.15. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm up right now. I'm so tired. I had like 12 million excuses about waking up this morning. I don't know why. It was just one of those mornings where you just did not want to wake up. But I'm here. I'm doing it. And I'm barefoot because you really don't even need sandals in this town. It's just a fucking... Barefoot town. Haley's also got her red flowy dress on so we can get some cool shots of Haley being a girl in the water. <laughs> <laughs> or just anybody who likes my red dress. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so there's three radically different things about Cannon Beach at this time of day. And for one, the tide is way, way lower. So you can actually get way closer to the rock. Two, there's no sun, it's all misty. Misty Cannon Beach Oblivion. And three, um, no people. Yeah, no people. There's no people around. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, so right off the bat here, we have a killer, killer reflection shot. I mean, look at this thing, just sandbar, water reflecting the entire stack perfectly. Um, I'm gonna wait till this calms down a little bit. Obviously a wave just rolled through and kind of disrupted it, but once that water is nice and still, I'm gonna go ahead and snag this shot. Um, I'm probably gonna still wet myself right in the middle there. I don't really have to wear a different color because it's misty down there so it and black so it kind of suits the whole aesthetic this like stormy creepy aesthetic um, I might even snag a pick of some birds in the sky and just overlay it over the top because there's so many birds here it's ridiculous um, yeah check the shot out so one tip I have if you're shooting on a beach especially with wet sand is you get these camera bags that have these overlay things on the top of them and they're like waterproof-ish. Uh, they're, they're good enough for this, not just, you know, dumping water on them, but if you set your backpack down the sand, it won't get covered in sand or, you know, if a wave does come up, a shallow wave, it's just gonna hit that edge. It's not gonna get your whole bag wet, your whole bag will be covered in, you know, sand. Like, especially look at this texture, this just absorbs sand so this thing makes a huge difference for beach photography so you can find one that has a cover or just put a plastic bag it, it makes a big difference here's Haley in her dress out in the distance over there so I'm gonna hold tri Haley's tripod or at least have a grip near it just in case it falls down because these waves come in and they will just mess up the footing of your tripod. Like the handles of the tripod will sink into the sand um, even when it's like pulling back or not a big tide and it can just completely shift the balance of it and just make your tripod fall. So you gotta be really, really careful with uh, balancing a tripod. Like this wave right here, that could totally fuck up a tripod and make it fall over. Thanks. Yeah. See that? Ah. All right, y'all, so here's a pretty neat shot right here. Nice little foreground, wide angle shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this rock as the foreground. Then we have this nice curve that leads to the haystack of rock. Just making sure there's people behind me, aren't right? oh, Shit, I got camera gear behind there. Um, I'm gonna focus stack a lot of different points here because this is where it matters because the depth of field is so small. Then I'll probably take one there, 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 and then one on the rock. So this whole thing is basically in focus. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this part. I might end up photoshopping this out just because it kind of pulls the whole balance out and just 
do content and wear fill to make it look like sand, but I really like the whole uh, angle we got going here. And that cloud right there, that's like got that weird rainbow tint is actually completely natural light because there's a little bit of sunlight from that sunrise coming in, but just barely. So that's actually completely natural, which is crazy to me. So check this shot out. Damn, these sun rays are unreal. Look at that, it's like right there, right there, right there. It's like weird rainbow spectrum shit. I've only seen this like once or twice before. It's really weird, it's so foggy. Never seen so many professional photo shoots happening in my life, like people are right there. There were some people earlier. Yesterday, like at sunset, there was fucking like three or four different couples all getting portrait shots done here. I don't even know how they avoid all the people. <laughs> that must be the craziest shit. It's like portraits and avoiding massive amounts of people. That does not sound fun. And that's why I don't do portrait photography because I don't want to deal with that. All right, we got more than enough shots to last a motherfucking lifetime. So we're gonna go ahead and call it a day or actually two days because this shoot has prevailed into the AM. Um, uh, we're gonna walk back to the car and probably sleep for the next 12 hours. All right guys, that's it for today's vlog. Make sure you hit the like and sub. Uh, solid shoot. See you next time. Peace.